am I? What happened? Hark ye, hark ye, the last hark. thing I remember was falling asleep in the Wars snow and then... In the streets after dark. Hello. Several young women brutally murdered. Well, it's much warmer like here, wherever here is. Looks like young an inn. Aventus Aretino escaped How did I get here? And to his home Hello? 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 God! Did you save me? After a bite to eat. Did you drag me to shelter? Right away. Oh, that's so kind things. of you. That oh, and Lydia, too, you really are the most oh, wonderful right. companions. Thank I'm you. Not to get us Thank us on you the so this much. Time. Well then, that's the last time I head out what in the now? snow in short sleeves, I think. Let's get some breakfast. And then I'll go and find something warmer to wear to stop that happening again. <clears throat> <clears throat> Marvellous. Right. Let's go and find something warm. So this is Windhelm. Fascinating place, but perhaps not the safest part of the world for an Imperial. So let's just keep our heads down and try not to get into any trouble with the Stormcloaks, all right? All right. Well, let's try and find a market. Ah, what do you know? Straight away. Oh, Hello there, madam. Diamond. I don't haggle. If you want a lower price, look elsewhere. Oh no, your your prices will be absolutely fine for me, I'm sure. What have you got for sale? Take a look. Let's see. Anything warm? Ah, yes. A nice cloak. That'll keep me nice and toasty. And a hood. Marvellous, marvellous. And then armour-wise. Really need something with long sleeves, but... Doesn't look like you have anything like that in stock. That's a pity. Oh well. Thank you for what your we've custom. We've got certainly a good start. There we go. Now then, now then. Sleeves. We're on a mission for sleeves. Hello, sir. Do you sell things with sleeves? Everyone says Yorland Greymane is the best smith in Skyrim. I plan to change a few minds about that. What have you got for sale? Hmm. Blades, helmets, pretty much anything to suit your needs. Hmm. Let's have a look. Steel armor looks like it might be a bit warmer than what we've got. But gosh, it's expensive. I don't think we can afford that at the moment. Whether it's armor you need or a new blade. Come see. Well, we'll have one last try. Can't just throw the Perhaps down on the other side of Windhelm. Let's see if this is the main... The main square? Perhaps this way? These don't look like shops. Perhaps down this definitely not at all seedy looking alley. Hello? Ah! This is more like it. This looks like a marvelous, reputable establishment. Let's have a look inside. Got something for just about everybody in here. Give a holler if you have any questions. Splendid! I like to share my good fortune with those who deserve it. What have you got for sale? Trinkets, odds and ends, that sort of thing. Well, this is quite the collection. Let's see. Anything warm? Ah, this is more like it. Look at the detail on that. Lovely patterning. Lovely nice furry mantle with it. And it comes with a matching pair of boots. I say these are much more my sort of thing. Yes, I'll have these, thank you. Most appreciated. Do come again. I'll just duck around the corner to change. There we are. Much more like it. For the first time since arriving in Skyrim, I feel myself again. Have a look around. I buy and sell just about anything. Well then, team, let's go and find some bandits. <laughs> Hi, mister. Would you like to buy some flowers? Oh, well, 
curtains you're offering? Yes. What have you got for sale, young lady? Not much, but I hope you like them. Of course I'll buy some. In fact, I'll take them all. Certainly. There we are. Thanks. Thanks for talking to me. You're very welcome. Best of luck to you. Now, can we find our way back to the entrance? Yes, there we are. Right. Torch in hand, I think. Off we go. Right then, off we go. Hopefully this time will last a little bit longer than we did before. And with a bit of luck, not end up passed out in the snow. How's that for an idea? At least this time I'm properly dressed. So what could possibly go wrong? Oof. Right. At least it's not snowing this time round. That's a blessing. I believe I remember the way from before. I just follow this path over the bridge, follow the path round past the mill, and then bear right. We should end up at that bandit camp. Ah, there's our wolf friend from before. Sorry. I do so hate having to kill them, but generally they tend not to leave me much of an alternative. Same for most things in Skyrim, come to think of it. It's a terribly violent place. Not like home. Over this bridge. Ah, Stormcloaks. Good morning, officers. You know any true sons and daughters of Skyrim? Tell them to head to the Good job I ditched that Imperial armor, come to think of it. Ah, the doggo. And here's the mill. Belonging to these lovely, friendly people who wouldn't let me in. Or provide any shelter I swear of any kind. No love lost here. Ah, and there's my campfire. Just tidy that away. Leave the land as you found it. That's what my mother always says. Hmm, getting a little bit hungry. I think I'll have a quick snack. Just a snack it. Mm -mm. Come along, team. Let's all jog together. Keep us warm. It's chilly out here, you know. A man could catch his death of cold. Don't I know it. Whew. Rather exhausting running uphill. Okay, we'll just, uh, just trot along for a little bit here. Ready for another burst? Here we go. It's a bunny, aren't you chilly, Mr. Bunny? No? It's awfully cold, but I suppose you have got that fur, haven't you, which rather gives you an advantage. And so do I now. I have my nice, fine clothes. Here we are. Ah, a fellow traveller. Good morning, sir. This one has something sweet for the fellow traveller. If it entices. Ah, something sweet. A sweet roll? What are you talking about exactly? The finest skooma. The sweetest moon sugar. At a fair price, of course. Oh, I see. Um, is that necessarily legal? Ah, snitch, eh? Can't have you running to any guards now, can I? Oh, no, I wasn't going to. Ah, ah heavens! Uh, oh, Lydia, do you think that's... Cool. That takes care of that. Entirely appropriate? I mean, the man was unarmed. Oh, well. I suppose you did start it. Terribly sorry. I'll just relieve you of your uh, ill-gotten gold, but I think I'll leave the rest of that with you. Yes. Not the sort of thing I want to be caught having on my person. Ah, this looks like the bandit camp. Shall we go and say hello? I'll just prepare a few other choice words, just in case things turn ugly. Right then. Hello there! My name's Lucian Flavius. I just wondered if you fancied a chat! No, 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 no. 
Everything always turns violent. Well, I have this to say to you, sir. Boom! Sha! Come on, team, we can do this! There's one down. Ooh, was close. Oh. Where is he? Where did he go? Could be anywhere. It was the one with the bow, wasn't it? can sneak up behind him. Boom! Oh! Ow! Got me! Gosh! Heal! 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 Oh! Ow! This is going wrong! Lydia, go! Help! Oh, wolves! Gosh! Are you prepared to die? I'm not! Is it over? Are we still fighting? Huh? Wolves joining the fray. Terribly scary. Uh, stay back. I think they're gone. What about the bandit? Ha! Chop done! believe I was this close to being killed. You can't believe it! I was this close to being killed! Not how I like to spend the day. But there we go. Fighting styles often come down to build. Yes, you have mentioned like that before, here. actually. Then you've got uh, no let's just have weapon. an investigate of this camp, then, and see what we can't discover. Hello. More of this fascinating armor. Look at the craftsmanship. Again, it seems genuine. And here books to read and look at this what is that fascinating well then what and this again the most peculiar flora it's almost like these gentlemen and ladies have actually been to the shivering islands gosh there's a wolf stay back sir I'm warning you. Stay back. Come on. No, Lydia, we don't want him to come on. We want him to go away. Go away, Mr. Wolf. Oh, dear. Yes, that's it. Run away, please. Much better. Right then. What did this journal say? Seducer's Bandit Leader's Journal. Dark work this, but does it ever pay well? Once every few days, a merchant comes galloping through, defenceless as a babe. We seducers always do our good deed and lighten their load before we let them pass. It's the least we can do. Moving north was the best thing we ever did. Leave Rassad to the milk drinkers of Whiterun, or as they call themselves, the Saints. They're probably still hounding him on the road to Markarth. Svarig is behind on his visit. I wonder if his path from the west was more treacherous than usual. We need a change in our fortunes. If we don't get paid soon, I fear the others might not stay much longer. Hopefully this new lead pans out. Interesting. And what about this, then? Heretical thoughts. Gosh, it's a whole book. Well, let's have a read. Zealotry is an abomination that must be wiped from the Shivering Isles. We cannot suffer their beliefs to spread to even one more soul. They name us heretics for our lack of belief. We gladly accept the name and we will make an honourable one. What? What does that mean? It is not heresy to speak truth. It is not heresy to speak out against an unjust lord. It is not heresy to take arms and action in defence of true belief. We are the so-called heretics of the Shivering Isles, but we do not speak heresy. We speak the truth. Our lord, Sheogorath, is but a man. He is only flesh and blood, not a god, and certainly not a Daedric prince. There are no princes in the realms of the Daedra, only vile servitors such as the Hungers that we summon to do our bidding. Sheogorath the False is a mad despot. Years of dabbling in foul magic and consorting with Daedra have driven him mad. He is not a fit ruler, let alone divine. He perverts the teachings of Arden Sul, he who gave his heart's blood. 
When the truth of our cause is common knowledge among the people, we will drive him from New Shiov and put that cesspool to the sword. His four limbs will be scattered to the four winds, his head will rest upon the hill of suicides, and his heart shall be burned in the flames of freedom. His entrails shall be fed to the dogs. We will make all the people of the Shivering Isles wear the robes of the heretics. By these robes we know each other to be true non-believers. The people shall return to the wilderness and live among the wild things as we do. They will see the wisdom and purity of the life we lead, and they will hail us as saviors. Fascinating! Fascinating! This was written by a genuine denizen of the Shivering Isles, which means these bandits either come from there, or must know someone who does. Remarkable! My hunch was right! Look at all of this. What's this key for? Is it... Look, another one of these chaps. Let's see if I can get the gate open. There we are. Hello! Are you alright? These bandits must have caged you. Do you want to come with me? Like my friend? Alright, let's go then. We're beginning to build a little team of these creatures. Whatever in the world they are, or in oblivion, I suppose is more likely. Well then, ah, look. Look at that mace. Remarkable. Well then, Lydia, if Gore gets to wear all this gold, I feel it's only appropriate if you get to wear some of this new shadowy stuff. Where are you? Where are you hiding? Lydia? Ah, there you are. Yes, my thing? Let's trade some I... things. Here, I'll take this golden stuff from you. But instead, look. You can wear... Oh, my word! On second thoughts, that's not appropriate. No, 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 no. That doesn't suit you at all. I'm so sorry. I got the impression just from the way the armor looked, that it would actually cover you. No, never mind. Just stay wearing the iron. Uh, uh, take anything apart from all of this. Uh, uh, yes, take the golden stuff again. Um, this imperial armor that I'm not using. Anything, just take anything, anything apart from that. Let's get going, then. Ooh, heavens! Under attack! Stay back, sir! <laughs> Gosh! Look at these robes. Gosh, I'd love some robes like that, but I really can't bring myself to strip them off a corpse. So, uh, I'll just leave you there for now. But you know, I really feel I'm improving in my skills. I think I'll just have a think about them. Yes, I think... With a bit of practice, I can improve my restoration, just like that. Something to bear in mind for the future. Now, where are we? And where are we heading next? Here's the bandit camp. And here is where that sparrow chap the journal mentioned was coming from. Now, I think we ought to head over there as soon as possible and sit down with him for a nice, long, friendly chat, don't you? So let's head that way then. Come along then, team. We must uncover the details of this plot. And this frankly scandalous armor. Where does Svarig live, I wonder? Oh, gosh, a skeleton! Stay back. I can't have you coming at me. That's not on at all. Oh, and another one! And another one! Loads of them! Do you have a death wish? Quite. Well, can they die, skeletons? Possibly not. Anyway, are we heading the right way? Gosh, no! No, we went east! We were supposed to go west! Where's my sense of direction? the way we came. Hello. Hello. 
Come along this way. See what we can find. Gosh, getting rather chilly. Too chilly now. I think I learned from before, and I'm not going to repeat my mistakes. So let's get back to this campfire. Get ourselves warm. In fact, I think I ought to set a shelter up. That's the only way we're going to trap the heat. Let's see, let's get the tent going. I'll just pop it somewhere nearby. Oh! My feet are on fire! That was a mistake. There we go, we'll pop it there. Come on, everyone. Let's get inside. And get warmed up. Gosh, actually. Now that I'm sitting here, this is rather comfortable. I think I might just have a little... a little snooze. A little nap while I'm here. Why not? I feel much better for that. Warm, well rested, ready to go and track down this Svarig character. Let's just pack up. They say Skyrim. Just have a little nibble of bread and a swig of water. Belongs to the north. Right then, Most west. The say it. <laughs> Let's try and head in the correct direction this time, which is not that way, but this way. The torch will help keep me warm. You never know when you're going to need to launch a quick force. It's funny, I can say the word without issue. Fuss. Fuss, but the process of shouting is entirely different. It comes from... from within me somehow. It's really hard to explain. It's deep in my chest. This force. Now, according to the map, I believe it should be... Ah, yes. Here are these bandits. Now, you never know. These ones might be friendly. Hello. I don't suppose any of you know Sfarig. No? No, no, no. All right. We're going to talk with knives again, are we? Let's see how you all prefer to communicate. Right. Allow me to contribute to the conversation. Uh, ah! Oh, my word! These ones don't look like bandits. Ow, ow! Going badly wrong, badly wrong. <laughs> Oh, chug those potions. But you know, if I didn't know better, heaven's a wolf, I'd always suggest these are... Actual Daedra. Genuine dark seducer from the Shivering Isles. All right, Lydia and Gore, I could use a hand. Come on, this isn't the time for sitting around. Whoa! Oh my word! I love a challenge. Oh my word! Is he summoning them? That's one down. Sparrow, who's summoning these things? Can't have that. So there's no point us fighting them. Until we can kill him, we're not going to get anywhere. You think you can take me? Alright, this is still going a little bit wrong. Come on. Oh, I just got to get clear. Not moving fast enough. I really ought to work on my stamina. Yes! Phew, that was a close one, wasn't it? These 
these bandits with more of these peculiar spores. Well then. Sfarig. Another peculiar item. Some dark weaponry. But look at this helmet. Remarkable. Now, this journal hopefully will have some answers. Where was the camp? Good to have a pick through. Oh gosh, we did run away quite some distance. Honestly, Gore and Lydia, you didn't need to flee like that. You're strong and capable fighters. I'm sure you could have handled it. Anyway. Let's see what they left behind. And then settle down to read that journal. Look at this, an altar. Scrolls seem to be summoning the Daedra? Look at all this stuff. Remarkable. Sfarig was obviously performing rituals. Well then, let's find out exactly what the score was. We continue to do the bidding of Thoron, our wealthy benefactor. Though our relationship has taken a turn for the worse, he still pays exceedingly well, and continues to ask us to pillage the trade caravans as they pass, searching for anything we can find that seems off or has even a hint of magic. Thoron is a powerful conjurer, but also completely insane. He has become increasingly unhappy with our spoils as of late. I suspect that the vainglorious saints have done something to gain his favour. We've all become fearful of what might happen if we meet him next month and he disapproves of our spoils. If you ask me, all that time he spends holed up in those sewers has finally turned his brains upside down. He seemed to really like those tongs and rusty calipers we brought him a few months back. All we need is to find the right piece of junk that he thinks will help him bridge the gap he keeps going on about, and we'll have full coin purses once again. Sewers indeed. But sewers where? Lots of places have sewers. Gosh, this is turning into quite the mystery. Well then, it's a good job Detective Lucian Flavius is on the case. Let's review the evidence. I've learned that a powerful conjurer Thoron has been funding the saints and seducers bandits while conducting dangerous experiments somewhere in a sewer. I should try to learn where Thoron might be found. Now, we're here where the first bandit camp was. We've investigated both the saint's camp that was somewhere down here, the seducer's camp that was somewhere up here, and the person who was supplying the seducers with their daedra here. Now, logic dictates that it's highly unlikely the same person was supplying the seducers and the saints with their equipment, given the vast distance in between and the fact that we only saw dark seducer items at the altar. And that means that there must be a second person supplying the saints, right? Right, that seems sensible. So, let's have another read of that saints journal I found. Now here it is, here's the reference Kinthal, leaving his camp up near Carthwaston. Carthwaston? Carthwaston? I never know how to say that. So, Kinthal wasn't here, this was Sfarig, which means Kinthal presumably is the other supplier, the other one conjuring saints from the Shivering Isles. So. Our next objective must therefore be near Carthwaston. Kinthal's Saints Camp. Now, if I'm right, Carthwaston is somewhere over here. So, that's where we need to go. 
Hinthar's Saints Bandit Camp. It's a long way to travel. And we're already so far towards Riften. So do you know what? I think we'll come back to that one. When we're on our way back to Solitude with Orion's last artifact. So our next mission, therefore, will be to return to the stables, hire a carriage to Riften, and retrieve that house Dagoth Bellhammer. Well then, adventure calls and we shall answer! Team Flavius, move out!